There you go, there's a little taste of what was here before Santiago, before it was, uh, I mean, it's a really bad car slum. We were just down there, thick with pollution, traffic so thick it's faster to walk, you know, just typical stupid shit that uh, people are doing in cities all over the world to avoid walking, despite, you know, two million years of human evolution. For mobility, and people want to stay stuck in a can. Pretty shit for brain for me, but... Uh, you know, whatever. Anyway, the shrubs you got here, Coliguaja, Euphorbiaceae, uh, Spinoliva, where is it, Spinolivia, right there, Butisioid, that's a composite with those white undersides to the leaves. You got uh, Trichocereus chiloensis, or whatever the hell genus they're calling out, Leucosteli, it doesn't really matter. Uh, there's the Tristorix, the parasite, waiting for hummingbirds. You got Puya. Of course, Puya alpestris, forming huge clumps, probably delightful when it's going off, when it's blooming. Lithraea caustica, and uh, some Baccarus right there. Of course, there's endless Baccarus diversity. There's more Baccarus. There's Lithraea caustica. Don't touch. Not Eurushiol. It's a different compound, but it's close enough to Eurushiol that uh, it can cause a real bad ass rash in uh, people. You know, I think you got to get sensitized first. Got a, a species of solanum right there. Nice to see what was here. You know, and it's nice that I think the mountains are too steep for the uber rich that live only a few hundred meters below us to build their tacky houses up there. And uh, so I think it's a preserve. Too steep, to, too steep and sketchy to develop. So uh, it stays a park. Look at a coliguaja, look at the fruits in that coliguaja. Three, three carpal euphorbiaceous fruits. And there's that Tristorix aphilus in bloom. You could see the yellow stamens, the four recurved petals. Beautiful, no fruit yet though. Looks like the birds got it already. What a wonderful endoparasite. Look at the beautiful geometry on those tubercles of the Trico series of the Leucosteli, <laughs> Leucosteli chilensis, which uh, the parasite does so well at. Here's another interesting one, Zygophilaceae. It's kind of the uh, southern hemisphere equivalent to our South Texas Guayacan, South and West Texas Guayacan, Porliaria chilensis. Looking like a pea, but it's not. See, pinnate leaves. You know, but then when you look close, you go, wait a minute, this isn't Fabaceae, this is Zygophilaceae. I've seen Guayacan do the same thing. I've seen a couple members of uh, the Creosote family do the same thing. Porliaria chilensis, Porliere. It's a weird name, I guess it's a whatever. All right, look at it, look at the Trichos, look at the Trichoseries up there. I'm sorry, the Leucosteli with those massive clumps of Puya. How'd you like to get caught in those? You think that ever happens to birds? It probably does, but those, because those, those, Little bromeliads, they got those recurved spines on the leaves. They catch you. They'll, that's how they get you, huh? Just like a fucking attorney, you know? No offense to my friend Carlos, the criminal defense attorney who I love. I'm talking about, you know, primarily family law, personal injury, real sleaze bags, real shit asses. Oh, yeah, look at those paper wasp colonies on there. They're chill. They're not, they're not trying to mess with you unless you go stand within three feet of their little, uh, their nest. They got nests everywhere. Anyway, here we go. The, the genus Malasherbia, all right? Passifloraceae, the passion fruit, passion flower family. Tube flowers, look at the stamens. Ooh, green anthers, it's a nice touch. Green and purple, green striations on a corolla tube. And, uh, and then a bunch of, you know, you got, everything's glandular. Everything's glandular and sticky because it's dry, windy. And uh, especially closer to the coast, that's an adaptation for the fog. We're not very close to the, the coast now. God, look at those glands. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's nice. That's a mean fall, though. You know, you go up there. Some nice uh, puyas up there. You know, I just got, just got a... Some pouty-faced rich lady just, just came at me, you know? She was driving by. She got upset. I don't know why. I don't know who's these... Some of these... these you know, older rich ladies, I don't know what their deal is. They always just look like they ate a piece of shit or something. Like they're, they're eating turds. I know they always look very unhappy, you know? I mean, I think it's just, there's there's a persona 
that's like that male or female that you just encounter, you know, victims of the system, victims of the grind, aren't we all? No, not really. I guess it gets kind of a, sometimes it's a choice. You got that much money and you're still complaining. Oh, the, the, that's what, what's funny too is this rich lady, she, you know, she was mad that I was in her way. Uh, the wasp, here's spinal leva. Look at the tiny flowers. There. She was mad that I was in her way. She zoomed up like she was going to hit me. I said, the fuck you doing? And then she said, you know, basically get out of my way. And then she said, have a good day, but it was very passive aggressive. Like, well, who the fuck does that? Don't tell me to go, tell me to, tell me to go fuck myself or something. Don't say go have a nice day. You know, what really would have impressed me, what could have changed this whole thing, you know, is if she just like got out of the car, walked over to me, turned around and let out a big fart and was like, eat that schmuck and then walked away. I'd be like, okay, well, you got me, you know. Again, Mutisioide, I think this is even a Nassavi tribe. Tiny flowers, recurved ligules, and those little anther tubes. I'm a little too close to comfort to these wild. You know, I, I know they're chill, but they, come on, man, really? Look at it, look at the Mutisioide, spinal leva. Look how big that gets with those beautiful white undersides. That's a damn multi-stem tree. It's like, kind of reminds me of like the Nahualia we got in South Texas. Look at, oh, we got a tiny cactus alert. Not tiny, you know? A little bit bigger than a grapefruit size. Huh? There's one with fruits over there. See that? Little pink fruits. The road dust really makes things uh, kind of unpleasant, but... A uh, wonderful little native plant community. And who doesn't love the Puya? God, those things are... I think they're pretty cold tolerant, too. I think down to like 20 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know. I got one in West Texas. It's hanging in there. Jesus, man. These, these, these wasps are beautiful but they are really you know you get close to them they all raise up like they're ready to go look at that big colony of puya see i bet they trap birds sometimes i bet they trap people that would be rough god you get bloody i know it's look at that it's razor it's concertina wire man all the same plant just sending out multiple stems when the old one dies uh. Ariosice curvus spina right there Ariosice is a big genus down here Lots of diversity. Those fruits ready to go. Loving a Mediterranean climate. Loving a climate of Los Angeles. Tiny flowers on its spinal leva. How many, what did you got, like three or four florets per capitulum there? And of course they got the, the cedars, the true cedars, the genus Cedrus. It's like Cedrus Labani. Uh, and they're dying because, uh, you know, they don't, it's way too hot for them here, you know? Denial of place. You see it everywhere. You go with the natives, you don't have to worry about stuff like that. Now you just got a fire hazard right above your house. Beautiful crystal blue waters. Not a floating turd to be seen. Nor any garbage in a river. Probably uh, some chemical effluent, though. Oh, it smells like California here. Look at this. Can you believe that... Despite the similarity in climate to California, there's no evidence of history of adaptation to fire in uh, any of these plants around here. There's really not, which is weird. You'd think so. But uh, anyway, Kaganekia looks like Kilaha in fruit, five carpeled, but it's in rosaceae. Boy, stuff is just getting hit by aphids here. It's very dry. Kaganekia is the genus rose family, rosaceae, dentate margin on the leaves, kind of glaucous color, kind of waxy, and again, about to uh, split open. Those fruits about to split open and release all them seeds. Nice. A little multi stem shrub. How about that? Here's another interesting camp. Gacnadia foliolosa. Foliololio loliolosa. Purple anther tubes, got pollen on the end of those styles poking out. Look at those recurved, those recurved lobes. At this point, they're basically petals on each one of those five flowers. Look at a little starfish. Glabrous leaves, got a head ants running up and down. You got a little dentate margin towards the end. Oblanceolate. And it's a nice little shrub. You got like the mutissi is a nice accent too. Nice little shrub coming up. Look, it goes well with the Kaganekia. What is that? Is that granite over there? It looks like granite over there. Oh, wow. Isn't that the Trichocereus and stuff? Oh, who's that? Who's that? Oh, that's more of that. Uh, it's either the Gachnadia or that, uh, that other Mutisioid. Look at it. We got the Malasherbia everywhere. See that? Oh, 
those beautiful glandular plants with the purple Passiflorace flowers. A lot of cool Malstrobias out there. And there's a lot of cool Adesmias out there as well. We got Adesmia confusa, Fabaceae. Good little ax axillary leaflets sticking out. Axillary leaves, excuse me, with tiny leaflets sticking out from this kind of zigzag, divericating, branching shrub. No flowers. There's a fruit. Oh, very interesting fruit. Little pea pod with, look at all the hairs on that. Little pea pods, of course, De Desmia have little pea pods that break up into segments. Tons of Desmia diversity out there. They can be kind of a nightmare uh, to figure out which one you're looking at depending on where you are. But they're all over the place. Very species rich. Yeah, photosynthetic stems too. Again, Mediterranean climate, but not of like the Bay Area of like Los Angeles, maybe even a little hotter. Yeah, it's got to be a wonderful spot to trail run. You know, you put your little short shorts on, you go running in your undies, and you just go, you know, you just go hauling ass up there. I'm sure that's very pleasant. I would do it, shit. I could do it right now. Should see my calves in my ass after I've been walking up all these steep hills in the Andes. You know, you need a good butt workout. The Andes will do it to you. Holy guaja. You sensual, you sensual, sensual bastard. Look at those red teeth on the margins of those leaves. Anyway, that's all I got. Have a great day. Go fuck yourself. Bye.